Okay, so for those of you who purchase your domain names on a third party website that's different from your hosting company, you're gonna have to connect your domain name back to your hosting company. So in my case, I always use Namecheap dot com which if you want to use my affiliate link to help me out you can go to asknickfoy.com slash namecheap that's going to take you to namecheap i buy domains here for less than ten dollars and if you buy it with your hosting company a domain name often can be you know fourteen fifteen or twenty bucks uh... per year for the domain name so i like to go to the third party website like namecheap where i can get it for you know under ten dollars so uh, here we're going to show you like once you've purchased your domain name how to connect it back to your hosting company so I'm here in my dashboard of Namecheap and you can see the three different domain names that I just purchased today and they expire next year one year from now so what I'm going to do is click on the manage button and it's going to open up the domain page here where you can manage the settings so right here it's automatically by default going to have the domain tab selected so all you've got to do is scroll down and you're going to see where it says name servers so right now your name servers are pointing to Namecheap so we need to change this to custom and this is where you're going to enter the two name servers of your hosting company so that you can point the domain name to your hosting company and then it'll be hooked up so in order to find the name servers in my case since I use Bluehost I just did a Google search called Bluehost name servers and the first article I clicked on here that said Bluehost name servers and it opened up this helpful article so this article when you scroll down here it says please change your name servers to the correct Bluehost name servers so it gives me the ns1.bluehost.com and ns2.bluehost.com so I will come back in here and we'll just type that in so ns1.bluehost.com and then ns2.bluehost.com once I've typed those in I can click the green check mark to save and it's gonna tell me how you get you know 48 hours for this possibly to take effect and then it gives you you know 90 seconds before switching it again so if you made an error you might want to wait a little bit but typically once I've hit saved I don't have to wait the full 48 hours I can go into my Bluehost account now and do an add-on domain to go ahead and connect this domain to my hosting account so once the servers are connected and pointing back to your hosting company then you can go into your hosting company do the add-on domain name and start installing WordPress and setting up your website. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If it was, click the thumbs up button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and stop by the asknickfoy.com blog for helpful articles on growing your website traffic, growing your email subscribers, using WordPress, and uh, building an online business that earns you monthly income. Thanks for watching.